Hey guys, it's Jay here. Today's date is the 10th of the 2nd, 2021. I hope this vlog finds you well and happy. Um, tonight I want to do a vlog about grooming tips and shaving. Um, just because we transition from like women to men, it doesn't give us an excuse to get slack. So I've noticed when I started transitioning, my eyebrows got really thick, really fast. Um, and nose hair started growing regularly. So that's things that we need to stay on top of. There's nothing worse than seeing a guy that's got like wiry eyebrows and nose hairs that actually grow onto their moustache. It's feral. So I've got a little shaver thing that I use. Um, I think I paid $80 for this about three to four years ago. It is a Philips. It's awesome. Um, just a little one that you charge on your little cord every couple of days. It's pretty easy to use. It's got a detachable head, so it just pops off like that. And it's got other attachments. So this little one here is just like a clean blade. I use it when I own, just got stubble on to shave it off like that. It's like a zero. It gives you a pretty good, clean, close cut. Um, it comes with different attachments, which is pretty cool. So it's got a few, which I'm just gonna place there. So, when I want to use it, it's just like a normal, like a hair clipper thing. It's got other attachments that's clipped on and off like this. The being, that's a one mil. So you've got one mil, and I think it goes up to two, and it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I use pretty much zero around here, zero around here when I have a, like, stubble. And just a one mil around there. It's also got other little attachments. This one here is really cool. It goes from three to seven. Clips on and off just moves up and down like that so I use this for my eyebrows so every I don't know once a week maybe twice a week I click it on to five and I'll just whoopsie zap over it because no one wants to look like John Howard if you don't know who John Howard is you need to google him he was Australia's Prime Minister and he had really bad eyebrows so you had to zap them off and then in the middle I just use your <laughs> quick and easy also with this little cool majiggy we get the nose clipper Clips off, clips on, like that. Best thing ever. Literally takes me two seconds once a week to clip my nose hairs. It's so cool. And this is epic too. So, as you can see at the moment, I've got sideburns, thanks to Regain, which we're going to touch on so shortly. So, this little master thing here, it's like a little, no, it's kind of like a little razor, I guess. It just clips on like that. And I just use it pretty much to do like close to the edges because they can be really hard to get with a razor. I find when I'm just using a razor, it doesn't give me a good clean cut as close as I like it to be because you've got fine edges. You're really trying to get it close as you can. So I find this thing is super amazing. It's tiny. It's got like a beard trimmer. I'd say I had a beard trimmer. It's a cheap one. It was shit. I chucked it out and the, it was battery operated and it wouldn't last very long. So I got rid of it pretty quick. Anyway, so this little thing here is cool. I've 80 bucks um, from Philips from the shaver shop. I brought it online. One of my best investments ever. Um, right, so that's that little thing. Make sure you clip up eyebrows and nose hairs. And if you get nose hair, um, ear hairs, you can use the same attachment as you use for your nose for your ears. These are very important things. Girls and guys, whatever you're into, do not like extra hair everywhere. Um, so that's a little tip for you. Right. As you can see um, from the last video I've made, I've decided to give myself a goatee and a couple of sideies. Um, I love having sideburns. I haven't been able to do it due to not having hair. So as you all know, I've been doing Regain. I am two and a half months on Regain. I think the last video I got my timeline wrong, so sorry about that. So I'm two and a half months on Regain. This stuff is epic. It has literally changed my life. Um, I went from having very thin patchy hair on top to having hair, like actual hair, like it's thick. I still got like a patch here that's a little bit thin on top, but I'm still only two and a half months, I'm halfway through my treatment, and I'm extremely impressed with the results. Like I cannot complain. I was actually went out the other day and I was able to style my hair. So that was pretty epic. Very, very happy with Regain. I highly recommend it to anyone that is receding 
or thinning out. Give it a go. Now, I don't know if it's going to work for everybody. I think it might be luck of the draw. It might be how far gone your hair is, how asleep your, your hair follicles are. I don't know. But as you all know, I've done minoxidil on my face and have epic results. And same goes for regain. Epic results. I cannot swear by this enough. Give it a go. It's the only way you're going to find out. Try it, you know, highly recommend it. Now, another trick to hair. So if you are losing your hair and you want to look thicker, um, same as facial hair. So when I started growing a beard when, after minoxidil, I was really thick around here and thick around here, but super light, light around here. That's the last bit to come in. Um, I got onto beard dye. Now, I don't know if I made a review about this in the past. I might have, but this is cool shit. So, on Monday, I decided to give myself a goatee. Um, so, I shaved it in. I was like, zzz, zzz, and um, obviously, this is quite light because I don't grow super dark facial hair. So, this is quite light, and my sides are quite light. So, all I did was got some um, beard dye. It's pretty easy stuff to apply. It comes in like... Two little things like that. You just squirt them into a little thing. <laughs> Same amount of each colour. One's white, one's brown. You get a little mixer with it. You, you mix it through and then you just like kind of paint it on. Like I just painted my sides on like that and like that. and dip, 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 dip. Now when I applied it, I applied it mainly around here and around here. I didn't put much around here because that's my darkest patch. So that grows dark anyway. So I just stuck it on my lighter patches. So when I grew a beard and these bits were, weren't looking as Thick as these two bits, I just applied beard dye to around this section and my mo. Is my mo is definitely my lighter section, so that always gets a bit of dye in it. So beard dye it comes in. It has different colours. I think it's got brown and black. I use dark brown, and it pretty much comes out black. Now it says to use it for five minutes. Um, sometimes I might push it and go for ten. I also realised the other day when I shaved in my goatee and sideies that I was going super grey around here. So as regain is kicked in and growing up here, this is growing back really, really dark. Like it's come back quite dark. That's all natural. I haven't put any dye on it, but my sides are grey. So I got the beard dye and I just dyed, <laughs> dyed the sides. Just like that. So I did the sides, these and these, and boom. Within like five minutes, I had a full goatee and sideburns. About five minutes earlier, I had it, but you could barely see it, and I had grey hair. So, beard dye, highly recommend it. You can also buy um, hair dye for men. It's by Just For Men from Ken's Warehouse. They go for about $18, but I usually grab it. It was on special for about $10. Woolies and Coles sell it also in the men's um, deodorant shaving, shaving section, sorry. So, um, really cool. I highly recommend this. Um, I do find if you do leave it on for too long, it says five minutes on the back, like I said, I'd go for 10. If you do leave it on for too long, it does stain around <laughs> your skin. If you do it for five minutes, um, it doesn't stain. But I just get a wet wipe, and as it's sitting, I just kind of wipe around where I've got it on my skin, so it comes off. Now, as you can see, my goatee, it's pretty bang on, apart from this little patch here. See? Kind of fucked it up. Anyway... Um, I did not just shave that in with a razor. I have got a goatee, oh, what would you call it? A goatee guard kit. So, this is really cool. eBay. I think I paid 10 bucks. So, you get a goatee guard. This is a goatee guard. These things are the best things ever. It's got a little handle here, see? And that's where you hold your goatee. So, you just place your goatee like where you want it to be. And it's got a little thing in the middle here, see that? That line in the middle, that is this bit here. So it just sits right there and it just, bam, it gives you your outline. <laughs> Super cool. Um, I've also got a beard bro. Um, give me two seconds and I'll grab it because I forgot about it. <laughs> yep, I'm in my boxes. It's night time and I don't care. So. Got the beard bro. So I use the beard bro for my sideies. I spoke about these two. These are the best things ever. You just place it where you want to place it right there. And you just get your razor. And you can put your sideies as long as short as you want. Totally up to you. I like long sideburns. So the 
Beard Bro and the Goatee Guard. Best things ever. Now, the Goatee Guard. So, there's lots of different sizes. This is the number two. It goes from six to one. Now, uh, five to one, sorry. So, they've got different sizes, like large. So, you can go wider. See? It goes wide as you want. It might go with your face too. So, it's just like how big you want it. Now, I've got a small mouth. Well, small face, small mouth. So, I've kind of got my goatee just on the outside of where my lips are. Uh, uh, eh. I don't want it too wide. The first goatee I had, I made it like super wide and looked stupid. Um, like I said before, I shaved tonight and I just went a little bit too close in there. But I'm pretty lucky by Saturday, maybe Sunday, that will be filled in. So I could get a little bit of beard dye in there and just film a little bit of hair there. It might make a difference. Honestly, I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, goatee guards on eBay. If you want a goatee, I've had no male figure around me with transition to teach me how to shave. I had to teach myself everything. So the goatee card, man. <laughs> Fucking five minutes. Best thing ever. Um, I also find when I'm looking for new styles with facial hair, I Google things. Um, so goatees, I wasn't too sure if you meant to shave under here or not. So I just Googled pictures of goatees and sideburns. And that's where I get my ideas from. I just Google pictures of men and... Yeah, go for the style that I can do it. So, yeah, these are all little tiny things that I think are important that no one's going to tell us as trans men. Especially if you haven't got a father figure around, you're kind of figuring it out for yourself. You need as many players as you can. It's, you know, so beard dye. A beard bro. If you've never shaven before and you've grown a beard and you want a perfect line. So when I do have a beard, as you noticed in the past, I've always got a perfect line. I use my beard bro. It just sits like that. So it's multi. You can put it like that so when you're... Shaving your beard in, you can shave it like that. I just do it, do it yeah, I'll just kind of do it like that, I think. No, I do it like that. No, I don't. <laughs> I do it like that, and I'll just use it as a line. Like, I don't use the comb bit. I've been told do not use plastic combs in your beard. It tears and it pulls and it's bad for it. I've got a beard brush that I use. Online again, I get most of my stuff online. Um, just type in shaver shop, type whatever you want. Go to eBay and have a browse around. Heaps of stuff out there, but the beard bro, the goatee guards, beard dye is the best thing I can recommend to anyone that's got facial hair and they want, want it to stand out more. Just do it. Just try and make it match your hair because you don't want to be like blonde black. I mean, it's up to you if that's how you want to be, but I kind of like to be matchy. So, yeah, I hope these pointers have given you guys a bit of help and a few answers on a few things. Um, overall, life is doing doing pretty well i can't complain about anything um just traveling lightly and enjoying my life um i hope you're all well um yeah anyway have a good night ciao